So get adding lists into Reminder Fox. We'll click the list tab in your um, Reminder Fox options, and we'll click Add to add a new list. So one way that I use this is I add a Christmas list um, and put all of my uh, family members in there, things that I want to get them throughout the year for Christmas. Another way that I use this um, is adding uh, movies that I want to see throughout the year. So we'll create a movies list and we'll add one more um, for albums. And these are the albums that I would like to get. So these aren't really reminders or to-dos, these are just other lists. So we'll bring up the reminder list window and we see now that we've, we've got some new categories. Uh, here's Christmas, movies, and albums. So you can tab through those and add specific items just to those lists. So here's what I might be doing. Um, so say I'm just surfing on Amazon. I see the, the Kindle and I was like, hmm, I bet my mom would like that. So sort of as I'm surfing, um, what I might do is I'll right click on any web page and there's an add reminder item on the context menu. Here I can, from the pull down, I'll select the Christmas list. And now I will just add this event to the Christmas list. So when we go up to our Christmas, we see that item has been added. I can also just add, um, you know, standard elements or standard events as well. So here's some ideas for my nephew Billy. I'm sure he would love some Transformers. Probably a Diego video game. You know, etc. Of course, if you hover over, you get all the details. The nice thing about the uh, adding a reminder for a web page, it always stores the URL, so you can click on that and jump right back to um, what you were looking what you were looking at. So another way that I'm I'm using this is whenever I hear about a new um, music album or something that I'm interested in, such as this Beatles. What's this new? group that I've been hearing so much about. So I can do add reminder and I'll select the albums list. I can change the description and click OK. And so now when I go to my albums list I can see that on there as well with the URL straight to the more information about it. So that's a nice way just to keep a list of things you're interested in. You can also select anything from your list and say move to another list. Let's move that Beatles over to Christmas list. I'm sure that would make a nice gift for somebody.